Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here. Today, I'm gonna finally do a review on that mask that I bought. I've been wearing it for a little over a week now, and I think I got the gist of it. So, here it is, right here. This is the box that it came in. I mean, it's a, it's a, a decent box. It comes with this uh, nice, soft, velvety bag that you can put it in, I guess. I mean, I'm never gonna use it. Of course, I said velvet now, and I just think of coming to America. What is that, velvet? Okay, sorry. All right, I also ordered extra, or not extra, but I ordered uh, N95 exhaust filters, because this thing has an exhaust, a couple of, of exhaust vents, which I'll show you. Um, it also came with, with some originally. And then it has these earpieces these silicone ear ear or, or straps that you basically put on the two pieces and it can go around the back of your head but I'll show you how I did it so that it goes around my ears and it has the it comes with the medium ones installed and then it has small ones and large ones I've been wearing it with the small ones because I moved it to go around my ears and I have to say that that over time it has it's you know like if you wear it for a while it starts to 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 dig into your ears Okay, and this is the mask itself. So they have three versions of it. They have just the standard, the UV, and then the, I, I guess they might call it a pro. Uh, I went for monkey in the middle and I got the UV version of it just because, well, just because. Okay, it also comes with this uh, USB-C cable. It's a nice, it has cloth, you know, like a cloth wrapping around it and all that kind of stuff. And you use it to plug into the USB-C port there and then you just plug it in anywhere USB goes and it will sanitize the filter the intake filter of the mask all right so the mask itself it's it's this soft silicone squishy rubbery type stuff that is unbelievably comfortable my wife, when she first looked at it, she thought this was going to be like that hard plastic because, you know, it's all shiny and stuff, but it isn't. It is totally squishable. Now, the other thing that it has on it, and this is the part that I love, is all around, starting from here, going all the way around the perimeter of the mask, it has this, I, you know, I mean, I guess it's a soft metal rod in it, and that is what allows this thing to shape exactly to your face so it isn't just a sort of a one-size-fits-all i mean you gotta you gotta buy the right size they've got i think they've got kids standard and then big for people with big heads and i just got the again the monkey in the middle figuring that it would fit my face and it does and anyway so this metal rod allows this to conform to your face and it is very malleable and it's not like super stiff giggity and it does indeed go to your face and then on the inside because this stuff sort of curls around it this is what pushes up against your face which gives it its greatest feature as far as i'm concerned and that is that it does not let air escape anywhere along here that will fog my freaking glasses this past year has been a nightmare for me as a glasses wearer because i cannot wear any glasses when i'm wearing a mask regardless of and i bought shit i can't tell you how many different styles of masks that i bought that were supposed to be anti-fog and i got all these different silicone inserts. I got shit that was supposed to be taped across here to seal it so that it'd get in your eyes, and not a single one of them was worth a shit. Every one of those masks fogged my glasses. Every one of those silicone inserts were cheap and tore, and, and all they did was make my face uncomfortable, and it just pushed into my nose, and I had indents everywhere, and it, and it didn't stop the, the fogging of my glasses. Not a single pair of glasses, not a single pair of sunglasses, could be worn without instantly fogging and some were worse than others that's why i got this damn thing and it again is worth every penny this was 100 bucks and and it was worth every penny i wish they had come out with this damn thing sooner and i wish that i would have gotten it at the beginning of this and it would have just been made this this whole mask wearing shit so much more palatable but i digress so now as far as this goes 
it's it's got you know a few features so it's all silicone it's all squishy it's got that metal rod that goes all around it that conforms to your face this one has a well they both they all have the spot for the intake filter but i got the uh hepa charcoal filter for this just you know i figured it would help coming up on allergy season which it has because i have been smacked by allergies the past couple of weeks when the temperature shot up and it got nice out it also has these uh, valves on the side that are the exhaust valves now some places they don't let you you know you're not supposed to use those because it's just spewing out you know all your germs and, and your spitty spores and all that kind of shit but you can put as you can see here the white spot you can actually put filters in here and again i bought extra filters the n95 filters to stick in there now there's a lot of controversy about this mask because they were you know i guess it was advertised that, that they were uh fda approved they're not fda approved it it's actually uh they applied for approval which is different um you know that doesn't mean that they got it so people are like oh that's that's fraudulent you know you can't say that shit blah 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 blah, blah. the bottom line is i don't give a shit i can wear this damn thing it is a mask it's filtered nothing's gonna get out that any more than any other mask and it does not fog my glasses let me say that again it does not fog my glasses that's why i bought it and it works it's the only mask i've ever tried that it works 100 percent of the time it's also incredibly comfortable. Now, again, with these uh, silicone things here, I've put them looping this way, but normally what they did was they, they looped over both the, uh, the both sides of the strap so that it went around the back of your head. But I didn't like that because I don't want that shit going around the back of my head, especially because, you know, I had that uh, surgery and it, you know, it, I don't want it in the back of my head. I want it around my ears. That being said, all you gotta do it's on push like right here and now it's sealed all around my nose and all around my cheeks and everything it's also sitting down lower so that it's not hitting up here by my eyes and I can breathe and you see it's not even fogging the inside you can still see my mouth see and I'm looking at myself up with the monitor sorry but you can see in it in and out in through this out through these and it works just fine you can still hear yourself sometimes you get a really good seal and you can suck it in giggity and it works just fine now I, again i might try to put the uh, the mediums back on here i just assumed that the mediums were too big but when i put this on just because it it's actually like really pulling at the back of my ears wear it for an hour or two and and it's it starts to really like bother me. I don't think that there's any way around that. It's gonna bother me because I hate having that shit on anyways. It's still better than going all around the back of my head because that's gonna give me a headache because I can't have anything on my head. And it, you know, there's nothing good about having to wear a mask other than it helps. You know, shows that you're not a selfish prick by not wearing one. Okay, that being said, there, there's pretty much only positives that I can say about this mask. It is soft, it's comfortable, it's, it does its job. It, if I had mentioned, doesn't fog my glasses. And, you know, like it, it doesn't, because it sits so low, it, you can wear any glasses. I mean, my, my Ray-Ban sunglasses are pretty big. It doesn't hit anywhere along there because you can put it down a little bit lower and it still seals. So you can wear any glasses with it. I can wear a hat with it. And because I don't have any, the, the straps going around the back of my head, it doesn't interfere with any of my hats if I want to wear one and suffer through the headache. Eh. So a lot of positives. Couple negatives. When you wear this for a while, I mean, it is a, a chunk of rubbery plastic. So it is going to get condensation on the inside of it. So if you breathe into this thing for a while, and then like me, chuck it on your seat, you know, in your vehicle, and then you come back, you're gonna see that, that it's, kinda hate the word, it's moist on the inside. Giggity. You know, I mean, the cloth mask that you're wearing is wet as well. You just can't see it because it's cloth, but you will see it on this. 
Does it do anything? No, it just shows you that it's wet because you're breathing, which I guess is proof of life. That's not a bad thing. It's a bad thing in that because this is clear silicone, clear rubber, whatever, you can see all the dust and shit that falls down into it. You can't get away from that. I know I can't. How many times have I bitched and complained about the dust that gets on my lenses and sensors and all that kind of stuff on my camera gear? It's going to get dusty and dirty, especially when it's allergy season and pollen and, and shit's flying around after the winter and all that kind of stuff. So it's going to get dirty on the inside. You're going to have to wipe it out. Now, I can't just like rinse this in the water because, you know, the it's got the UV stuff on the inside the filter there and you know I'd rather not electrocute myself or, or ruin everything on there now all that being said if it got right down to it and I popped this intake HEPA filter out and I popped out both of the exhaust valves and it just had these holes here and I put this freaking thing on my face and had open holes on the sides and on the bottom I could still wear this and just put a cloth mask over it so that no one would bitch and complain that I have a, a mask with valves on it. And it would still block the fog from going on my glasses. So again, still worth it. I haven't had anybody complain about it. I get a lot of stares because obviously I have a clear mask and you can see my face or my, you know, like my mouth and everything. So you're going to get stares and all that kind of stuff. And, and I've had a lot of people, you know, because I posted the picture of me being creepy with it, you, you know, making the funny face. People have asked me, dude, oh my God, where did you get that? So the cheaper version, like the normal standard version that doesn't have the UV stuff on it is 59 bucks. You know, people are, oh, that's so expensive. Eh, whatever. I've spent more than that on all this other shit trying to get my anti-fog. So what difference does it make? Again, no price is too great if you get what you want. So 59 bucks for the cheaper version, 99 bucks for this, and I think it's 200 for the pro version. And you can get different colors of this of this intake and, and, and there's a couple other things about it, but I didn't give a shit about any of that. I just wanted it so that it wouldn't fog up my glasses. And it, so again, worth every penny. So that's pretty much the only downside of this thing is that it gets it gets dirty in there and you gotta you know you gotta wipe it down. So basically I just wear this all day and then when I come in here at night I plug it in on my desk and I just let it go. I mean it, they don't even I haven't even really seen any documentation saying this is how long you should do this. I just leave it in there for an hour or two while I'm doing my work and all that kind of stuff while I'm sitting here editing and I figured that's long enough. And even if it isn't, big deal. It isn't like I haven't been breathing out of these damn masks for you know a long time. And occasionally I wash them just because you know they get rank. Same with this. Now they do have uh, obviously replacement parts. You can get this filter here, this intake filter. You can get a replacement for the, the component that goes in there. And you can also get replacement filters for the exhaust. They also have like a prescription service so that, you know, you pay them a certain amount of money and every however many months or whatever, for however long you do the subscription, apparently they send you all that shit. I'm not doing that. If I need something, I'll get it. I mean, I got a, a bunch, it came with a bunch of, of extra exhaust filters when I purchased them. And I don't even remember how much they were. Go on the website and check it out. I'll link it in the description. <sighs> I don't need to draw this out any more than it is. It's a freaking mask, okay? And it's a mask that works. It works for its sole purpose for me of not fogging my glasses. And, you know, I mean, if you gotta wear a mask, you gotta wear a mask. I don't have a problem with that. Again, I'm not a selfish prick. So I'm gonna wear a mask, but I wanna be able to wear a mask and, and be able to see and not have to go through the annoyance of having my glasses fog all the time. So that's it. Bottom line, leaf mask, UV, yippee, soft, comfortable, doesn't fog your glasses, I highly recommend. It did take me a while to get it. You remember I bitched about that. And I guess that's another downside if you want to look at it. Shit, awful, almost unresponsive back and forth communications with the company. They've never answered my questions that I've asked them. And at this point, I don't even bother asking them anymore because they haven't answered anything. So yeah, that sucks, but 
I don't care. I got the mask. And again, even if I don't want to replace any of these filters and all that kind of stuff and just throw a cloth mask over it, it's still going to work perfectly for me because it's going to keep my glasses from fogging. In hindsight, if you want to watch this video again and take a drink every time I say fogging glasses, doesn't fog my glasses, blah, 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 blah. Anything about fogging glasses, you'll be drunk by the end of the video. All right, that's it. That's all I got for you today. I've been saying that I was going to do a review on this mask, but again, I wanted to wear it. I wanted to see if it was just a complete hunk of shit or if it didn't do what it said it does like every other mask that I bought that said that it was going to be anti-fog, but it's a winner. That's all I can say. Monkey approved. All right, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for joining me. If you have any questions or anything like that, leave them in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.